Alright guys, welcome back then. So, in the last part, uh, yeah, we had a pretty uh, good episode. Uh, we won in the cup and got through to the next round. Uh, we beat Rochdale 2-1. Um, and we got a little bit of a disappointing draw against bottom club Cheltenham, but we're just going to put that past us for now. Um, in this episode then, uh, we are going to be taking on Bristol Rovers to start off with. Um, and I don't know what kind of formation they're playing there. It looks like a 4-4-2. But, um, yeah, we're also going to be playing the 4-4-2. Uh, Clark is back, but I haven't put him in the squad because uh, Scartacini's on slightly better form than him now, so I'm going to put him up. Uh, but I might make a couple of... I'll probably use all my subs in this game because we do have the cup game against Torquay coming up next, so I want to make sure that we've got um, all our fit players. We're away for this one, so hopefully we can make a pretty good start here if we can. And here comes Converi. Can he pick him out? He will. It's gathered up. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, I have I was going to play, like, a full-strength team at first, but then I remembered, uh, hold on, we do have that cup game coming up next. I, wanna re I really do want to get as far as I can in that cup. I really do, because it means more points for us. And it also means possibly the potential of winning the cup itself, if we can. Um, you know, when I first, you know, set up this league with, with Darlington and everything and took control of them, I didn't imagine we'd get this far, to be honest, uh, in the cup. But uh, we'll, we'll deal with that and we'll talk about that when that cup game comes up. We need to deal with Bristol Rovers here first. Um, and we've already played... Uh, Oh, shot there. We've already played Yeovil uh, twice this season. We've played them in the league, I believe, already, I think. And we've played them in the cup, so yeah, we kind of need to... At least I think we've played them twice. I don't know. But uh, no, we're going to be taking on them. And, uh, and whatnot. Elliot. Uh, oh, and uh, another thing that I do want to mention. Valentine. He's happy. He is actually happy. I don't know how I did it. I just kept playing him in matches, I suppose. And then he became happy. And everything's better. And what a goal that is from Scartacini there. That was a massive shot there. Just low and hard in the bottom corner. Puts us 1-0 up. It's a bit of luck, though, because the pass didn't go through the first time. But uh, found his way through. And uh, we're winning. I'm even debating that maybe we should even play this on a 4-5-1 formation instead, just for the just for the the reason that um just to make it a little bit more harder if I can, <laughs> but I don't know. Oh, here they come! Here they come! That's not going to be surely. It's not. Well, we've had a lot of draws, but uh, we're not losing. That's that's the that's the main thing really. That's we're not losing. And is that offside? Oh, good save by the keeper there. Thought it might have been, but it wasn't. It's coming into the middle. Defender's going to boot it away. We're uh, slowly but surely approaching the halfway point of the season. Um, and like I say, we've been doing really well in the league and we're, we're top, so nothing to worry about. Conceded a corner there. Unfortunately. So I'm just hoping that it still goes well for us. Got to uh got to try and put him off if we can. It's over the bar. That'll do. Maybe the ball scudded along the surface as he went to hit it. And uh, apparently this uh this team have no names on the back of their shirts. Oh, here they come. Valentine has to cover. I think Valentine, honestly, I, I think he's got a, a bit of potential, Valentine. I think he could be a, a regular... Well, good take by the keeper there. I thought that was a certain goal. But uh, obviously not. No, but I, uh, Valentine, honestly, I think he could be become my regular um, left back. He just he needs to be a little bit happy. And as you can see, they don't have names on the back of their shirts. I don't know why that is, but uh, <laughs> we're winning, so uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain about that. <laughs> but uh, no, we uh, we we'd, we've done well, but an, another goal again is what we need. That's a good ball. That's a good ball. 
Oh, I can't make it through. We really do need another goal. I mean, Bristol have been quite hard to break down at times in this match. Um, and I don't know, some of you might think, oh, actually, they haven't been that hard. Whoa, that just flew right over the top of the uh, bar there. Um, but, like, in these episodes, these episodes are so long um, as well. Like, they're literally 40 minute recordings, and I'm breaking them down into like 25 minutes. So, a lot of this stuff gets cut out that's rather boring and you don't really need to see. Uh, I'm only really showing the highlights because be uh, there's, a, there's a lot of games to get through. And, oh, good save in the end. Uh, here we go. Can we break through here? And is it going to be? It's blocked away. It's going to come into the middle. Is it going to be this time? And I thought it was for a second. It looked as if it was in. Our third corner in a row. Can we break them with this one? Oh, no, we're not. We're not. But it is going to creep in. Away from the keeper there. And... All he had to do was tap it, really. Defence came out, couldn't get to it. And that's what can happen when you put in corners to the near post like that. And it looked like a handball there. The keeper... Oh, he's just over the keeper. I think he took it down with his hand, but... Uh, I'm not so sure. No, it might have been... It looked like the chest from that angle, but... Uh, no, it rolls in. That's the goal we were waiting okay, for. Look at the replay and see what happened there. Well, from start to finish, everyone was in the same wavelength here. That's how a corner kick should be taken. And uh, we are yeah, two up then, and this that's looking good. So I've just used up all three substitutes. Uh, I'm going to take Valentine off, and I think I'm bringing off. Uh, was it Scartacini? I think I'm bringing off. Oh, what a effort that was! Saved by the keeper, but it was uh, it looked like it was going to hit the post. And uh, also, uh, I think I brought one of my midfielders off as well. So, might as well use them, rest them up a little. It's coming in, it's away, it's away again, is it? Yes, it is. Here we come. Can we grab a goal here on the break? I wonder. We've got men forward, can we do it? Can we do it? It's saved. It's going to go into the net. That is 3-0 and it's game over. He just wants to score goals. That was a good Kaling shot there, but... Uh, no, a lot of, uh, t Trust me, a lot of goals in this game honestly do come from uh, rebounds just like that. And we've seen a few already. But uh, that's just what happens. Three nil, absolutely perfect. Uh, but let me know, guys. Let me know if you want me to change the formation to four five one, just to kind of make it a little bit more harder. Um, so I've already lowered down the game time and whatnot, and um, I know I could play it on world class, but it's just the fact that world class is a little bit. I don't know, I, it's just like that. there's some sort of thing wrong with the game, it's like it's too easy on professional but on world class it's just like you're playing against some sort of superhuman, well supercomputer really, not human, but um, it just, uh, it just it's, it's really, I mean I can win, I've won on world class before honestly but it's just a little bit too difficult at times and there's a lot of hacks that the computer does get sometimes it, it, that's what it feels like anyway that's going to be the full time whistle um, so who knows maybe playing 4-5-1 make it a little bit harder I don't know but uh, a good way to start this episode off though with a win there quite dominant Alright guys, then we are back and we are in the cup yet again and this is the fourth round tie. We're against Torquay for this one and if we win this we'll get to see who we play in the next round. I wonder what opposition we would get though, but uh, we can't think about that just yet. We have to win this game yet, so going back to the 4-3-3 uh, yet again. 
And um, yeah, a few changes in there um, in terms of substitutes as well. I've switched one substitute around because I had a couple of midfielders in there. I think I had three midfielders in there, so I put another defender in my substitutes. And I've pretty much just uh, playing my um, my strongest squad. I'm just going to go for it. I just want to make sure we win this. I really do want to win this and see how far we can get. So here we go then. We're going back to the 4-3-3. Three, three. Like I said, we would for cup games. And uh, this could be a difficult one. I can't remember what league Torquay are in. I don't know if they're in our league or if they're in League One. Um, but I believe that we can beat them. So let's see if we can then. But, uh, you know, I'm just going to try and do what we did against Middlesbrough pretty much. And just go for it, you know. And we always defend. You know what I mean? We've switched back to 4 4 2. And we've been a little bit dodgy in a few of the games we've played before 4 2. Um, but. You know, in the 4 3 3, we always like defend better for some reason. I don't know why. That was great defending there. That had to be. Oof. It's things like that that I will will get us through to that final. Torquay are giving us a little bit of trouble early on here, so. You know. I don't want to take them lightly. Again, just like a possession game that we played against uh, Middlesbrough. Let's just play that kind of game again. Just more of the same of that. We've got to try and block out the cross here. Is it coming? It's forced a save in the end. It was going wide anyway. And goalkeeper will pick that out all day long. Wow, we can't get it forward. Giving us a much harder game than Middlesbrough gave us, I could tell you that. And is this going to be? Hopefully not. Good take by the keeper there. That's what we needed. Unbelievable. But we got out of that one somehow. We've still got the ball. We've still got it. Put him in. Oh, can't put him in in the end. Much more difficult game. I think they're playing. The, are they playing the four-three-three as well? I think they are, judging by their formation down there on the on the radar. So it's going to be a difficult one. Good ball. And into the middle, Scartacini on the head. Surely, yes, it is. It is there. That's what we wanted. <laughs> it's game on now. Well, that's one we need to see again. Here's Ali. Well, I'll tell you the great thing about that. The players knew exactly what was happening there. They've obviously worked on that one before. Great passing, great movement, great goal. Well, we are one up then against Torquay, and uh, we've absorbed a lot of the pressure that they've put on us early on and uh, and whatnot, so that's always good, but here they come, and a good save from our keeper again. If it wasn't for him, oh, I don't want to know. I'm going to try and aim for the back post here. We need to... Grab that one and the goalkeeper will do that comfortably. Oh, that is lovely. That is lovely from Conberry. Here he is. Good save. Oh, here they come. Here they come. It's in. It's in. Header. Saved away. Tipped over the bar. Put this one in again. Oh, it's away. Just maybe play it into the corner just a little bit. And then whip it in. Oh, he's never going to score that one, is he? And, uh, oh well, that'll do then. 
And what would you like to share with the One nil at half time. Had so much of the ball, but this game's still so close. There'll be a lot of well, the first half it'll just been the We can't the afford the, to let them get in. That's what we can't afford to let happen because they've done that a few times in that first half, but we got away with it each time. So we need to make sure we're just a little bit more solid at the back. Woods. And goalkeeper will gather. That's fine. Now this needs a good oh, um, we're not going to concede this, surely. It's away! Good save! And we still can't get it away. It's back in. Oh, it's away. It's away again. Oh, surely this is going to be something here. Can it? Is it? Oh, good defending. Oh, <laughs> you just can't keep your eyes off it. Oh, we've got it back again. We really need that killer blow. This could be it. Scottesini with a chance and the rebound is in. Well, there it is. That's what it took in the end. Another rebound goal, but we'll take that. He finished it beautifully. Yeah, well, I think that'll probably seal us through to the next round, <laughs> hopefully. I think we'll think about throwing on a couple of more players, but uh, no, I mean, it, it, the rebounds are kind of overpowered on the game a little bit, because they always happen too many times, in my opinion. You just didn't think it was going to be that kind of goal to to get us through, but if it if it is, then it, it is, and we'll take that. The pass in, but the forward running onto it was muscled out by the defender. Top class football that. Oh, here they come though, and oh, well, that makes it interesting, doesn't it? I was just talking about how rebounds are a bit meh, but well, 65 minutes gone, 2 1. They've been pressing for that, and they've gotten it. Well, it's just under 70 minutes gone. Oh, it's going to go out for a corner. If we just get one goal here, that would be enough. Surely it would be. And oh, we shot at goal from Miles out there from the defender. Just made the one substitute. I think I've put Fleming on at right back. Oh, here they come. Please, no. It's away. That's good. Oh, we can't get it away. Defenders in the way. Players everywhere. That's what we need. No, oh, that's not what we need, though. We've won it back again, though. We need to get it into that corner, though. That's what we need to happen. I don't want to rely on another late chip <laughs> to get us through, please, no. That's the last thing we want. Here they come, here they come. Uh, we've kind of got it back, have we? Yes, we have. Can we break here, though? This would finish them off if we can. We've got options left, we got options right. Can we do it? No, we can't. But we still can't either. Scottesini hits the side netting. It's so frustrating. Look at the movement on the side netting there. That's how hard it was hit. And the goals don't move very much in this game, I could tell you that. Oh, and they've won it back again. They've won it back again. Goalkeeper will gather. That's what we needed. Here we are. We're back on the break. We're still on the break. We're still... Oh, can't get it through again. 19th minute of the game. Is there going to be one last chance for Torquay? Hopefully they won't be. Here they come, though. We've got to get that ball out. It's away. Surely that's going to be it. And it is it. We are going through to the next round. What a game. That was scrappy in the end. And uh, I knew it. I knew we shouldn't have taken them lightly. And we didn't do that. And it's got us through. Good match.
Well, as you can see then, these are the results for round four. So Chelsea have beaten Manchester City 4-3 uh, on penalties after a 2-2 draw. So pretty exciting game there. Uh, Newcastle have beaten Crystal Palace there 1-0. Uh, uh, Hull lost to Mansfield, so Hull's cup run is over. Uh, Arsenal beat West Ham there 2-1, Everton have beaten Swansea, only 1-0 there, so well done to Swansea, they went pretty far, didn't they? Uh, Fulham beaten Boston 5-4 on penalties, well done to Boston though, they've done well. Uh, finally, uh, Manchester United have beaten Wolves 5-2, what a game there. So uh, let's look around. And we're not on the first part of it. Uh, but uh, it's going to be Chelsea, Newcastle, Mansfield, Everton, Arsenal, Fulham. I'm predicting Manchester United. It is. And we're at home again. <laughs> Manchester United. I saw they went on there and I knew it was going to be us in the quarterfinal. Well, you have to prepare for that one now. Uh, finally, guys, we have enough to up our finance department. So let's do that now. And there we go, we have one star on the finance department and one on the fitness, so we're doing pretty well. I think the next thing we might go for is the... Mm, possibly the scouting. I think that would help. Uh, maybe getting some of these up, actually, might be ideal, but we'll, uh, we'll look into it. Well, to end off this part then, we're going to be taking on Yeovil then. We're away for this one. Uh, we've already beaten Yeovil this season in the Cup. Uh, we're going to be taking them on again here today. So I'm kind of hoping that uh, we can have a, a good game against them. And, uh, yeah, we got through in the Cup and we learned our fate, so... I don't know when the Manchester United game is. We'll have a look at that after this match is over with, but uh, hopefully it's... Uh, well, it's probably... Uh, I'm hoping it will be in kind of December because I think we're we're still in like sort of mid-November in the game at the at the moment. Um, so I'm hoping that it's it's some way off so we can have time to prepare for that. But I guess we'll see. Uh, here we go then. At, at Yeovil today. Again, you know, I don't know if we're still going to be with Darlington, you know, next season. I don't know. It depends what job opportunities come up. You know, we we will eventually change teams, I imagine. I don't think we'll take Darlington all the way to the Premier League. I mean, we could do, but I don't know. I, I guess I kind of would like to manage a Premier League team and build my reputation up to that point. Can we score here? That was too early. Oh, it's gone in, I'll tell you that. Well, I was not expecting that whatsoever, but a Convary there with an absolute effort, that's... Well, it was saved, wasn't it, but uh, it still went in. It was unlucky. But, uh, we've taken a 1-0 lead, though, at Yeovil. Oh, just between those players there. Yeah, it was a little bit off. It wasn't where I wanted it perfectly, but uh, it still went in. That's the first free kick we've scored. Uh, even if it was slightly saved. Well, 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 what's going to happen here? Oh, we can't 10 inside the box there, can vary. Um, oh, if I remember correctly, the first time I played the career mode on FIFA 2005, I kind of just didn't even... I didn't really know much about, like, transfers at the time. I was just kind of, like, playing the same team over and over as uh, Cambridge and... And then I went on to manage Hull, and then I went to... I got them into the Premier League, and I think I stuck with them for a bit, and then I got offered from Liverpool, and then I just went to Liverpool and just won everything. Even though I won pretty much everything with Hull anywhere, but... <laughs> you know... I think that's the that's kind of like the aim of the game, is to get into one of those teams, isn't it? And... Oh, you know, and I kind of... I remember buying, like, the first player I ever bought on it, and I was, like, maybe, like, two or three seasons in before I bought someone. Because <laughs> I didn't really know how to do it at the time, but, um... No, I don't know if, if we really do need to buy anyone. I, I don't know, I might just keep the finances. I'm not... I can't quite remember if you do get to keep the money, though. That's off the post! Um... It's gone in. Well, that was well worked, I think, there. Um... Um, I can't quite remember if you get to keep all the money that you've earned. I don't... Oh, it's actually saved and off the bar. I thought it hit the purse for some reason. Uh, the angle was kind of weird, but... Uh... Yep, yeah, that's, uh, that's gone in. Oh well, it's 1-1. Uh, it's 
I mean, um, I could even practice on world class. I mean, I could practice a bit more and try and get a little bit better at it. Although I do have a lot going on at the moment. I'm playing multiple games like all at the same time almost at the moment because I I got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> Um, and I've got new uh, stuff going on as well. Here they come. That's a good touch. Good teamwork here. Oh, that's a good ball. Can we chase it down? And it's in the net, and it's too warm. He doesn't hesitate. Top class finisher. Yeah, we couldn't get to that, unfortunately. Well, it's time for your view on that, Ali. Can you take us through uh, the replay? You know, well, we've been doing well, like I say, we've all season, you know, we, we've only had, like, one defeat. We've been doing really well. We've been picking up points pretty much every game, and that's what's put us at top of the league. You know, it could be a lot worse, honestly. I mean, getting a draw is obviously a lot better than losing a game. Any day. Oh, here they come again. I don't want to give another another goal away here. We've got to get it away. Oh, keeper gathers just in time there. What can we do? Can we do something? Is it going to be? Oh, nearly was, you know. Oh well, I mean, we've we've done all right, but we need more oomph in front of goal. I mean, really, the only thing we've really done in this game is maybe had a couple of attacks, but we've had a lucky free kick, which has uh, which has got us our goal. So we need to do a little bit better than that, and that could have been it. Sliding in there, Converi couldn't get to it. Away for a corner. And it's coming in, and is it going to be? The goalkeeper gathers it up. Just not enough time or space to do much there. Oh, it was nearly a goal again. Um, come on, there's got to be a goal in here for some somewhere for us. Hopefully, oh, it's parried away again. Showed a nice turn of skill. Come. That's a good ball. Good whipped in ball. Is it going to be? Oh! Into the middle again. Oh, it's away again. Here they come. Oh! It's away again. And is this going to be? Oh! He couldn't get through. He's almost through. Oh, here we come. Here we come. He's still going. He's still going. Oh, he couldn't make it through there. Oh, and it's off the line. He's got to do it. And it's in. What a scramble that was. That was unreal. Not good enough today by any standard. We've been overpowered by Yeovil. The chance, and then he was right in front of goal. He's got to do his hit hit, and it's in. He's never going to miss that. Too much scrambling about in the box. And even if we switch the formation now, I don't think there'll be enough time. We'd have to literally score with our next two chances to even draw the match. Uh, it's the it's nearly the, it's pretty much the 90th minute right now, so we've 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 lost it. No, that's going to be the full time whistle. And that's going to be a goal kick. It doesn't matter now. As soon as the ball goes up the field, that's it. Keeper restarting the game. Nice touch. Unless there is one last chance here, which would be kind of weird. And even if we do score, it's not going to matter. And it's still going for some reason, this one. I don't know why. It usually doesn't do this. But there is the full-time whistle. We have lost to Yeovil then. Um, we beat them in the cup, though. 
you know, so we know we can beat them, but um, yeah, I guess we'll see then next time. So as you can see then guys, we are uh, still first in the league, so we're not doing too bad, we've got 33 points. Uh, as you can see though, Yeovil are second, so you can see why uh, we struggled a little bit against them. Um, they still have a game in hand as well, which could potentially take them up to uh, 31 points, and then they'll only be two behind us. We've only lost two this season, though, same as Northampton as well. Um, I think it's really going to be between us and Yeovil then, uh, but I guess we'll see. Um not too much else notable there. Well, South End technically, um, they could potentially uh, move up to 32 points if they win their games in hand. Cause we've played 17, they've only played 15. Um, Rushton and Kidderminster, I don't think will be too much of a problem, honestly. But there is a lot of teams here that still do have a game in hand over us. Uh, moving down to the bottom. Uh, I don't think there's too much to say about the middle of the table, honestly. Um, but looking at the bottom, uh, Scumthorpe moved down to bottom with only one win, 11 points. Cheltenham move off bottom now. Uh, they are on 11 points. Uh, ex uh, Oxford still uh, in trouble there, along with Swansea as well. So... Hmm. So anyway guys, as you can see then, I have no idea what this is, I'm assuming it's an international break or something, or a holiday of sorts, I don't really pat particularly know. Um, uh, Peterborough, uh, we're going to be playing Peterborough in the LDV Vans Trophy, so I'm guessing it's kind of like the Football League Trophy, this one, uh, as far as I know. Uh, we're going to be away at Peterborough, so we've got another cup game here, so we want to try and get as far in this cup as possible as well. Um, on top of that, what we're, what's coming up after that as well is another cup game. So we're going to be playing Southend at home as well in the FA Cup round one as well. It's called the English Cup in this game. So we've got two cup games coming up uh, in the uh, in the next episode, along with a trip to Chester as well uh, in back in the league. So anyway, guys, um, so I'm just going to have a look ahead here as well. Um, because I know we're playing Manchester United soon, but I don't know when uh, we just move along a little bit. There it is then. So we are going to be playing Manchester United on the 21st of December. Uh, so that's somewhere away yet. Uh, so that's when we're playing them. But uh, anyway guys, thank you for watching this episode. It's been a pretty decent episode uh, in my opinion. Uh, and we're going to be away against Peterborough in the next uh, episode in the Vans Trophy. We're going to be against uh, Southend... Um, at home in the round one of the FA Cup and then to end off we are going to be playing uh, Chester uh, away from home in the league so thank you for watching and I will see you then